Welcome to Takahitsu Gaming. This is Takahitsu speaking from your local show host. We are playing today a game that came out on the 30th of August. I didn't know it existed. I logged into my Steam today and it was in my little, uh, the Steam suggestive games, whatever you call it, your queue. It is called Spaceborn. So, um, I am playing this blind, I have no idea what I am doing, I'm going to play it easy, and I hope you would all join me for the game. Um, what is this? Um, okay, so apparently it plays music, you get to choose your music style, I'm just gonna click mix. Um... I'm open to most musics, not quite all of them, I will definitely say, but let's see what's going on here. And in my games, I do not tend to talk during movies, so I will give you that a forewarning. I don't like to talk during movies or things when they are talking to you. Zone was a mess, so you had to scout the area first. Obviously, the game is very massive scope. After the last battle, your ship has suffered a lot of damage. Let's check if all the functions are working. Let's check out ship's maneuvering systems. Oh, okay, so it's actually going to let me control it. Um, the one thing I did do is I went and changed the controls a little bit um, to the way I like to play. Good. Now let's try the rear thrust. So, um, I figured I no would inform you of here. that. I let's play with an inverted thrusters. looking system. And I also play with an inverted looking system in terms of if I push down or pull towards me, it should go up That's because I run well. with a realistic now system. I've actually fought power. in combat myself in real life, and the real the realism works better with me. I'm like, for example, I'm going to push my mouse up now and it's going to go down, out. so on and so forth. I also fix the camera to do the same. Um, this one also checks out. Wow. Let's take Just a look, look at this. At the ship navigation that's, systems. That's pretty good. Uh, routing power. What is okay? Apparently that's this. Engines seem stable. Now let's check the energy systems and weapons. Each ship has three weapon slots: turret, laser, and missile. Each use of the weapon consumes certain amount of energy from the ship. You can follow your energy from the bar on the left. Weapons are connected to the ship's energy module. Their firepower comes from the energy module. Ah, that's kind of cool. Alrighty, okay. So, left mouse button is to shoot things. Look at that. If you just hold it down, it keeps shooting, that's cool. Or if you're sniper mode, you know, you push a couple. Okay, cool. Now let's try laser weapons. Lasers, space bar, huh? Okay. Um, oh, look. Whoa. Okay, and that one has a big cooldown on its weapons. That, what is that, five, six seconds? One, two, three, four, five, Last, six, let's look at missiles. Seven. So yeah, it's got several Since seconds. Since we don't have a target to lock, just firing two missiles to space will suffice. Okay, and the right mouse button. 
That's so cool. This space is pretty decent looking like it, it really is pretty Workers good. Workers are in good condition. That's great. All functions are working perfectly. Now we can focus on our mission. Okay, so I'm going to supposed to go over here. I scan unidentified activity in this zone. Calling in reinforcements now would be unwise. First, we need to clear the way. Okay. According to my calculations, there are some ships approaching to that point. They will be caught off guard I if you go and wait for them like to come out. Ruins, like fly in them and stuff? Oh ho ho. It looks I like see I five could. Frigate class ships approaching you. That's epic. Alright, let's see. What do we got going on here? Enemies. Where? I don't see anybody. Enemy detected. You need to be always on the move when fighting against frigate class ships. They can easily shoot still targets. We have to stay out of the fire range and on the tail of our enemy. Okay, so it's basically saying dogfight. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, that's a middle mouse button. Okay, I think I just locked onto the target, basically. I missed. Set the target. First, you need to determine which target to focus on. You can do this with middle okay, mouse yeah, button. Okay, yeah, I figured that out by accident. Okay, uh, Enemy right. Detected. Enemies coming. Do do do. Okay, so I think it's literally just now it's playing like the classical music type. you got that's pretty cool looking ruin right there like wreckage the wreckage actually looks pretty cool oh oh okay what's all this stuff one through five huh one looks like a bunch of missiles okay um was gonna show me the other ones too Whoa, okay, two is like some sort of weird scatter weapon. Okay, now it's repeating itself. All right, cool to know. Enemy detected. But it looked like I had to be locked on for both of those, so let's. All right, let's do one. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're dead. All right, let's see, next one. Oof. Oof. That looked bloody. Alright, uh, where's the third one? There you are. Let's lock in and see what we got going on with this one. Uh, what did that do? No idea. Great. Like a bounce. This area is clear now. All right, let's see what's going on. I see undefined going. activity in the junkyard. We junkyard. better check that area before we call our ships. All right, now we're going to fight inside the wreckage. Let's do it, boys. So I have no idea how many people are technically on this ship. It doesn't look like a very small ship, so I'm going to guess, you know, it's got like a crew of maybe 10, 20 people. Sounds about right. Oopsies. Never did get to check out what three and four to, or four and five does. Four looks like Careful. it's uh this pairs. Looks like a zone with flies. And five looks like some kind of shield probably flies, huh? So it's introducing the different enemy types. These ships have like. high maneuverability. It is not possible to get away from these ships as they are light and fast. That's why it is very okay, so important this is to be like able to move horizontally fighter, to fight the flight. Alright. Um let's enemy kill some detected fighters. Where are you at, boys? Whoa! Okay, yeah, this thing definitely outmaneuvers me. But yeah. Enemy detected. Woo! Eat a rocket to the face. Didn't even need to lock in on you. Enemy detected. There's another one. Ah, I missed. 
Oh, this is my laser, anyways. Enemy detected. Woohoo! It's done. We can call, call our ships now. now. I've marked the most suitable warp point. Once in the open, you can call your ships. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I die if I crash into that. Probably do. So let's not test it. Instead, we're going to play like that, you know, little dogfight pilot stuff. I'm not the best pilot. I will be one of the first people to admit that. But I'm not terrible either. And I'm not afraid to try things. Well, so far, I think this game's pretty, pretty legit, guys. What do you think? Does it look like a good game? Well, I'm going to go ahead and make a series. Uh blind play series because that's exactly what this is. I have no idea what is coming up. Third squad, come to my coordinates. Ooh, I get buddies. <laughs> that yes sir was so staticky it sounded like... like <laughs> Almost sounded like he was passing gas into his camera. Or, I mean, his microphone. Or burping. Woohoo! And do they follow me? Uh, I can't tell. Looks like they're just kind of playing juju in that spot. Okay, maybe they are following. Whoa! Alright, here we go. rock music so far. Eat it! Ooh! I'm taking some damage. Ah! Get chased by this guy. The answer to that is no. You will die. sure that right now this is like a tutorial mode it's probably a lot easier than uh than actual fighting will be it's probably like a what is that is that like an escape pod or something the section's clear division move to sector four and wait for reinforcements it's an escape pod company we move to zone four follow me ha! that's cool can't hurt it, so, you know, that's kind of cool. Whoa. I'm not expected to fight that, am I? Or were we just clearing the area so that, that thing could show up? I think that's what it is. That's huge. Wait a minute. It's... I didn't mean that when I said start over. Tell the whole story from the beginning. From the beginning. All right then. Okay, so this isn't the beginning. From the beginning. All right then. Wait, does that mean I have to do that whole battle all over again? Because that was annoying. Uh, that'd be annoying. Well, I guess it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be practice, right? Everything began with the arrival of our guests. First, they spread a disease. Then they attacked. I know what you know. There's not a lot here, okay?
frozen until a cure is found, huh? Okay. So this is this must be me then. Okay, yeah, this is me. Um, so I go by Takahitsu. Um, so we're just gonna live with that. Um, let's see. I have no idea what is going on here. So I can't customize what I look like. Oh, that's sad. Good morning, Commander. <clears throat> Where am I? Who are you? My name is Eve. I'm programmed to help you once you're awake. Interesting. What about the war? Did we win? Unfortunately, we lost. There were some big battles after you were gone, but the human race lost. You might be the last human alive. That is no bueno, man. Being the last person alive is no bueno Damn it. at all. Why am I alive? How did I come here? They wanted to keep you here until a cure for the HX1Z4 virus was found. But the treatment was never found. So you still have the disease. How much time do I have? It won't be long before the virus reactivates. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. While you were asleep, doors between systems were detected. We need to get out of this system and find you a cure. Where do we go? How long was I asleep? Has it turned out who attacked us? No one else except Please me? Please let me stop you. We will have time to talk about those in the future, but not now. Now we have to focus on getting out of here. First we will put on our pilot armor, then we will get out of here using the ship at the hangar. All right. Second life, okay. <clears throat> We can take it, this is like... Oh. Those look like lockers, so this must be the armor. Haha, -ha. she was talking about. Dun, dun, dun. Never leave your home without your armor. Prefer a gun, but... Okay, thanks to the headphone, da 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 da. Sweet, so that means that I can speak any language. Well, I understand the languages and it automatically translates to them, but that's pretty cool. I'll be using this ship. Yeah, don't worry. I will guide you through the whole learning process. Okay, so I take it my guy's not normally a pilot or something? He's supposed to be the commander. I thought he was like a big, bad military guru knows everything kind of thing. The way he said this ship was like, he has no idea what he's looking at. Like, he's looking at some sort of voodoo ship that was made 20 years after his freezing. Oh, look, there's a little staircase on the back of it. Okay, that's cool. So unlike most games where you can just walk up to the ship and push E and get into it from whatever angle, you actually have to go in the back. Nice. Alrighty. Hi again. I uploaded myself to the ship. From now on, I'll always be with you. I'm sorry, I have to laugh. Well, that's so news. many tropes I could go with that. I feel so alienated in the situation I'm in.
You can power the engines using the engine console. Um, and how do I do that? Oh, look, my guy's doing it on his own. Okay. That's it. Now hold on. This reminds me of so many catapults that are used in anime. The, you know, you get launched out of this little catapult tube. Huh. <clears throat> Oof. Pirate flag. Wonder whose pirate flag that is. Is that actual bullet? No, that's design. I wonder whose flag that at. That is like is I guess it, you is have pirates no destroyed piloting a Earth? ship at all. Or if you'd like, we have a training area close by where we train our new pilots. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's all do ships it. have two piloting modes: auto mode, autopilot, and manual mode. While in autopilot mode, you can only control the ship with using the mouse. Okay, I was already Our doing training that. area is in Neptune's planetary orbit. We can activate the portal we use to get there with the help of the satellite you see in the distance. Okay, so I'm going to use that. It's Africa. The commands you give in auto mode will be applied Parker. automatically. Oh, look. Okay, it's got a little bar. It's being used. Boom. Mission points over there. Um, Portal is open. We cannot proceed on autopilot. Oh, okay. You need to handle the ship manually. Okay, and then it's back to this stuff. Okay, I know how to do this. Bye, Earth. Um, I guess everybody's dead on Earth, huh? That's weird. It's like a black hole. Look at thing. Ooh. Okay. So we have black hole, long distance, uh, transport, uh, traveling capacity. I'm, I'm so lost. <laughs> Yeah, see, like, this black hole opens up, and then, bleep. I guess it's kind of like a wormhole thing, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. Probably not supposed to. to most beautiful so I'm color. just going to leave it. Anyway, uh, let's take care of business. We better start our training with the scanner. The scanner. You can think of the scanner as kind of system map. However, unlike the map, it is constantly updated. Here you can see the known locations in that system and the coordinates that you updated. Oh. Now hit the T key to open up the scanner. Tango. It'll be easier to show gotcha. on that. Come on. Tango. Tango. What you see is the map of our solar system. And there's nothing on it. How boring. This is where you get information about okay. the solar system. Uh-huh. Okay. This interface is used for manual scanning. We'll come back to that later. Okay. In fact, it would be easier to describe the whole thing with a simulation. Okay. Now open your scanner again. Now, set the target by clicking on training area. Now we can move to the training zone. Press the warp key on the left panel. Oh, warp look at that. Started. It's like this little two rings warp and there's a skull in the middle of it with a ball. The the what is that supposed to be? You can only use warp starting from a certain Is that where we're distance. going? You cannot warp to close distances. So lost. 
my drone is, it's offline. Energy shield armor. I wonder if I could control it from this view. Here is our mission spot. Neptune sure looks better when you are close, right? <gasps> There's people! There's people. <clears throat> are they humans? That'd be cool. I'd like to not be the last person alive. Unfortunately, I can't identify these ships, but they don't seem oh, very friendly. friendly. We need to clear this area in order to go on with the training. New mission cleanup. I'm adding cleaning up of this area to your mission log. Quest log. Okay. Um. Oh, missions. Okay, J key. So journal. Okay, that makes sense. Missions clean All up. All the details do, about do, the do, mission do, you do, accepted do, do. is displayed here. Once you are done, you can close this window. Yeah, alrighty. The X or I've J. marked the mission yeah, spot yep. for you. You can take control of the ship and go to the oh. mission zone. Oh, okay. Um. Off we go. Okay, so that was like... The, okay, so that, that bar on the right, that one that looks like up and down, is your thrust. I'm... Yeah, okay. Enemy detected. my missile. Not allowed. Congratulations. You just completed your first mission successfully. Now, a bit Definitely of a fan of the metal. In space you will come across things of value. Collecting those oh. and selling them off will make Loot. you money. Very well. Um, they're in front of me. Uh, okay, I have to go into the autopilot thing. Um, oh, look. There it is open it up. I wonder if I were to go to my settings, can I rechange this uh, music to ha, I can. All rock. Oh yeah. Diggity. I dig it. Alright, um, taking all of that. Okay, looks like garbage. So this is a uh, Salvage. We salvage all of our stuff. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so you move close enough to open it up. That makes sense. All right. I'm level two, peoples. We have nice. leveled up. You've gained a lot of experience space. with your success. Now it's time to put it to good use. Papa. This window shows okay. your expertise. This section shows your specialties. Specialty points bug. distribute automatically Jacks. according to your That must be down. the different factions. Um, this is probably a progress to the next level. With each level you These level up skill automatically. Points. You can spend those by clicking the skill atlas button. Okay. Pilot. Better ships. Damage protection. Damage absorption. Shield. This must be like defenses. Miscellaneous tool booster, cargo expander, cargo energize, energy increase. Okay, so this is like your support systems on your ship, I'm guessing. Damage modification. Okay, and so then all this over here is like the damage you do, like so offense. Okay, uh, but I have to learn pilot first. So I located where the ships are coming in. Yeah, I think right. there might be a stargate there. Our way out of here. Oh, okay. I'm uploading that location to your scanner. What about these? About these? Okay, well, whatever. Um, some warp there. 
back to this view. Kind of look around a little bit. Oh, we're, go we're entering a black hole again, guys. Time when you stretch, let autopilot do its thing. <sighs> Just as I thought, this Stargate will be our way out of this solar system. Oh, okay. Like, where Stargates is Stargates allow you to travel between different systems. Okay. It, it makes sense. It's like EVE Online type thing, you know. So I don't have any of my skills or anything, but okay, so that's... A, oh, Jumping to I target sector. Okay. Cargo. Okay. Tiwanasim solar system doesn't ring any bells. There's a space station and a stargate in the system, but the stargate is out of order. Oh no. Do you have a plan? This station can be a start for your treatment. You don't seem to have any other choice. All right. So I have to find the cure. Um, let's see. Let's Oh wait, everything's off manual, scanner, drone, atlas. Oh wow. Alright, ship. Okay, so this gives you information about your ship. Uh, missions, news. Nothing. Uh, social... settings just goes to the menu okay well that's that let's go to this Ooh. okay well I'm gonna go to the pirate station uh, I don't think I really have a choice that's what the game wants me to go can't do anything in meteor so let's go here I'm not too thrilled pirate station they get it I wonder if they're going to attack me just for showing up. I think we have some time. How long was I asleep? Well, I cannot give a full figure. 23 years after you were put to sleep, I went offline. I like how the volume is all like trippy. 23 years? Yes, as I've said, it's hard to tell exactly, but a long time. Approach it or dock. Okay, Sending well, docking request. Dock. That's cool. Docking request accepted. What is that? As expected of a pirate place. Oh, oh, look at that. He looks like an alien, like the, uh, the, you know, the 
I was kidnapped from Iowa type alien thing. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's probably a joke in itself. An Easter egg. Well, probably not that ridiculous. Oh, look. They got racing. Like drones. Okay. Bet money on that, probably. Bounty board. That's not hard to figure out. Slaves. Interesting. Oh, we have to we have to look at the slaves again. Is that a person? Is that a human? Oh, I am not the last human alive. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. There's my thing. Alright, guys. Um, this is Takahitsu with Takahitsu Gaming. Thank you for joining me today. I will continue this with episode 2 starting later on. Uh, if you guys liked it, give a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy it, then I apologize. Um, it you want to see more because like I said I'm going to be doing more episodes please subscribe and thank you have a wonderful day